Hello everyone, Carlton T. Clay here with Celebrating Black Excellence. I am here with our next guest. He is an actor and a content creator, Dennis L.A. White. How you doing today, Dennis? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. No problem, no problem. Thank you for, so much for joining us here on Celebrating Black Excellence. We definitely appreciate you. Now let's get started with your, your background, your beginning. How did you get started with acting? Man, as a kid, um, I always would do theater. Um, Black History Month, I would always uh, do uh, Dream Deferred by Langston Hughes. Uh, my parents were heavy into, um, you know, Black history. Uh, my mother was a musician um, at the church. And so I would always perform. And it's just something that I evolved into doing that I loved. Awesome, awesome. Now, your middle, your initials are LA. What's the significance with that? Because, like I said, I know you have your Facebook profile and your Instagram profile. It says Dennis LA White. Can you please explain to us the LA? Yeah, everyone thinks it's like, yo, LA cuz, like I'm from Los Angeles, Hollywood. <laughs> but <laughs> I wish it was that glamorous. The, the honest truth of it is, those are my middle initials, Lamar Allen. Oh, okay. So it's Dennis Lamar Allen White. And that's how it was for, from birth. And uh, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to use L.A. White. Um, I did a movie called The Brave One with Jodie Foster. And at that time, I was I was doing music. I was rapping as, under the guise of Dennis the Menace. And uh, SAG listed me as Dennis L.A. White. And I just stuck with it. Awesome. That's a good story. Cause I, I, I thought it had something to do with L.A. myself. So I'm glad I asked the question. <laughs> yeah, so you're originally from Fayetteville, North Carolina. What made you transition from Fayetteville to, to Los Angeles? Well, I was born in San Bernardino, California. Okay. And in Southern California, we moved to Northern Cal. My father's in the military, and he got stationed in Fayetteville. Okay. And so... Um, you know, that's I, actually when I was in Fayetteville is when I was in theater classes and doing, you know, regional theater. And, you know, my journey started from there, from moving to West Palm Beach to do theater, moving to D.C. Uh, to do theater and, and teach acting and, and study and then moving to New York to really begin my film career. And then I moved to L.A. Um, I think L.A. was a natural progression uh, for any actor. And so that's how it how it culminated. Sounds good. Now you recently were in Candy Burris's and Todd Tucker's The Past, which premiered on Peacock and definitely did numbers, did some great things. Um, yeah. How was your experience on the movie? You know what? It was really great because it was a bunch of friends. Like we all knew each other from Blue Kimball to um, Rob Riley. You know, we did Bad Dead Rehab together. He came on my show, Clubhouse Cinema. Me and Todd go way back. Me, so it was uh, me and Reese Odom. We did projects together. So it was a bunch of friends together. So when you're on set filming and everyone is, uh, are friendly and you go way back, it just makes the day go go quicker. And so uh, the storyline was really different and cool. And so we, we just had a blast filming that. Yeah. Y'all shot this film in 10 days, correct? Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> long days crazy long nights but you know shout out to todd tucker and, and, and candy burris you know they are some definitely visionaries from the stuff they're doing on broadway and from the music to television you know they really had ha have great vision and i was just honored to be a part of that that amazing cast yeah and in the, in the movie you played dion who was shays yeah. with husband which is actually played by candy and for people who haven't yeah. seen the movie tell us about your character well <clears throat> <laughs> Dion institutes um, or convinces Rod Roddy's character to use the pass, which is giving your your significant other a hall pass to have an extracurricular activity with another woman or man without having any retribution. And so um, I, I I put that seed in him, and he utilized that in his relationship um, in his. You know, he's engaged to, to Drew Sidor's character. And so, you know, and I, I come off as a comic relief, you know, I'm cracking jokes and just being funny. Cool. Cool. Now, spoiler alert, if you have not seen the movie already, we about to kind of get into some things real quick. Now, when the, when you read the script for the end, because I think that took everybody for a loop by surprise. I know that took me for a loop. What were your initial well, thoughts when you read the end of the script? 
I'm like, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it coming. And I think a lot of people didn't see it coming. I know when I read it, I was like, oh, what a twist. And I, I like movies like that where, you know, you don't know what's going to happen at the end and it's not predictable. And I think this is definitely going to catch a lot of people off guard. Definitely, definitely. Now, I did read in an interview that there's a possibility that Todd could be working on a part two. Like, yes. yeah, so like, of course you wouldn't know anything about it right now, but like, if you could predict, cause you are a content creator, you know, you do some writing. If you could predict yeah. what you think will happen in part two, what would it be? Well, I, I just think that, you know, um, in part one, the storyline was about Rob, Riley's character, mm -hmm. point man. So I think it's gonna shift to a, a, someone else's character being a point man or woman. And um, I think Drew Sidora's character is probably going to try and get some get back, you know, which <laughs> she deserves to do that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What has uh, the reception been that you've seen for, for the past? Man, it's been amazing. You know, we're in the middle of a strike for Screen Actors Guild, so it was kind of challenging about the way how we can promote it and talk about it. Um, thank God we, we shot it before the strike. Um, but it's been like wildfire. People have been watching it. Uh, people have been hitting me up and, you know, really, you know, surprised about the twists and turns of it. And then it also helped that, you know, unfortunately, Drew Sador is going through some situation with her um, current marriage. And, you know, there's some other stuff that's going on involved with another woman. So it kind of like kind of helped give the buzz to the movie and then you know it's just a really good movie and different story and, and it's fun yeah sounds good sounds good now you're also teaching a virtual acting class can you please tell us what the class um entails yeah so we're we're doing I, i've been teaching my company's called at like you know so i've been teaching for wow like 12 years now so i do private coaching with celebrities and also up-and-coming actors and my goal is just to help these actors learn the business of acting and become working actors. You know, it was great to go and learn how to be in character. And I teach that as well and break down scripts, but also know how to find work, get work and continue to have work. Sounds good. Now, if anybody wants to register for the class, is it too late or can they do so still? How how can they do so? Um, it's it's kind of too late. Okay. But we're, you know, we're, I'm, I'm thinking about opening up to some more students. Uh, we got another class coming up too, a workshop. So um, I'll give you information. You can go to www.actlikeyouknow.org. Just how you spell it, actlikeyouknow.org. And um, I'll give you information for the new class that's opening up. Sounds good. Now, if you have to give any advice to someone who wants to get into acting or content creating, what advice or some words of encouragement can you give someone? Um, invest in yourself. Stick with it. You know, I always say the three P's, prayer, perseverance, and persistence. You pray about what you want, want um, you persevere through the trials and tribulations, and you're persistent. You don't stop and you don't quit. Thank you for that so much. Now, if people want to follow your journey, how can they do so? Oh, man, I'm easy to find. All social media platforms, Dennis L.A. White. And also my website, www.actlikeyouknow.org. Awesome. Well, Dennis, thank you so much for joining us here at Celebrating uh, Black Excellence. We definitely appreciate you. Thank you for all your contributions that you contribute to the arts. We definitely celebrate you during this time. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. No problem. No problem. All right, everyone. I am Carlton T. Clay, and this is Celebrating Black Excellence. We celebrate black excellence every day. Have a good one.